Hey everyone, Raleigh Mason, Majora Inspection Services. We're at a house today taking a look at a deck and wanted to point out a few things on this particular one. Uh, we've got some good things and bad things as always. So with this deck, you've got two posts on the outside and you can see these posts fairly tall. Anytime you get into that kind of height, you do want those posts to be larger than just four by four. They do have some bracing here to help um, support, but it's just tied in with nails. And the way they've attached the band boards to the posts, they've got a, a ton of nail heads, uh, excuse me, a ton of nails going through, bolts on each side. I mean, it's not terrible construction, it's really not. But again, you, you do want four by four posts um, for anything. Um, you don't want to see four by four posts on this type of construction. That's an awful tall deck second story and you definitely want that to be six by six we'll call it out and recommend six by six posts or at least coming out and shoring up on this edge and on the other edge with some two by four posts that can run all the way down to the bottom that's it's not a terrible way to do it uh, unfortunately at the bottom you've got deck so they'd have to cut into that allow the the wood to go all the way down through the bottom of those also up here, if you take a look at the floor joist, you can see nails put into that, which is great. I think I see nails in every hole and they're tacked in. The joist hangers are tacked into the wood, but we do see a lot of rusting nail heads, which is something we don't want to see. On the back side of the house here, you've got your connection point, the ledger board. In this case, they've got bolts in the ledger here and here. But unfortunately, what we don't see is a staggered pattern, which is what you really want. I'm not sure why they tack them up right on top of another. You'd like to have one on the bottom, maybe on this edge, top, bottom, top, as you work your way down a ledger board. They've tacked in a lot of nails or screws as well to hold it um, with that rim joist, but in this case, you want those to be done right so you actually evenly distribute that load uh, on this back side. Ledgers are usually where decks fail the most, most common place at least. And you can also see these joist hangers, the nail heads holding those in are, are rusting out. You can see a crack in the ledger board as well. There's no Z flashing here, we're not seeing that. So again, we wanna see this post if not a six by six post on these edges, they are too tall to be four by fours. They need to be reinforced um, with two by fours, maybe on the outsides, on the corners there to hold the band boards up, extra support. Uh, if not that, then replacing with a six by six post on both sides. That'll help stabilize this quite a bit and a lot less worry on our end. All about safety here and making sure things are done safely. So what they've got, um, you know, it may last a good long time, but we know where the failure points are based on load. So we want to shore those up and get it taken care of. Have a great day.